So as you can see, I've removed Apple's proprietary I.O. card from the rightmost slot, and I've replaced it with a Universal Audio U82 Octo DSP card. This is replacing the exact same thing I had on the outside with a Thunderbolt 2 peripheral, which was called the U82 Octo Satellite. But in my case, with this transitioning, I wanted everything inside the machine so there's no outside gear. And just a quick shout out to YSL Pro and Long and McQuaid Pro for getting me set up really quickly this afternoon in flipping this around. I also have three Avid HDX cards here. These are DSP accelerators, but more importantly, they allow me to connect to Avid's outside audio hardware. In my case, I'm using the first four ports for the 128 channels, and the last card is just for additional voices. This unmarked silver bracket is actually an Amphiltech Squid Carrier Board, and that lets me put in four M2 SSDs on the inside of the computer. One of them will be the system drive, two of them will be rated together for sample libraries, and the fourth will be just a working volume for projects in the moment. This card does take advantage of 16 PCI Express lanes, so each one of these SSDs will have full throughput to the system. Moving left, these two slots are an RME HDSPE MADI with the word clock expander, and only one of these is going to a slot, and another one of them is taking advantage of the empty space, so that's awesome. And then moving left again, this is an RME Matty Face FX, which also takes advantage of two slots, but only plugs in via one of them. I'm taking advantage of all the expandability this machine has to offer. And if you look back a few videos, being able to do this has replaced an entire kitchen table's worth of peripherals and PCIe expanders and Thunderbolt 2 chassis and external sound cards and external accelerators. So I don't think I made a bad decision. This is decluttered big time. Well, the rack is in the rack. Well, sort of anyway. I did run into a few obstacles, which I'll explain. But luckily, I'm actually changing out this dual bay rack cabinet with a single bay that's a lot deeper to accommodate the rails. And I will actually position it sideways because it will actually take up the same amount of space. And this is actually half of my full system transitions. And I'm getting an Avid matrix, so a lot of this supporting gear here will disappear. And I can just position this cabinet sideways. And that will hold up my center speaker and the big TV as well. So in the end, it will all work out. But for now, it's been kind of interesting. What I've done so far is just put little felt pads on the Mac Pro rack. And it's literally just sitting on top of my 2U UPS. Another thing I wasn't expecting is the Mac Pro rack won't clear the rear of this cabinet because there's some wooden supports on the back of this cabinet that actually prevent it from going all the way through. So, so far it's just sticking out a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, again, this is temporary. So far, the only thing that's really scaring me is the fact that because I've used all the eight PCIe slots on the inside and removed the Apple IO card, the only Thunderbolt 3 ports I have available are these two on the front. And I'm just worried if I'm walking through here, I might nick them with my feet or something. So I have to be really careful for now. So you can see the rack mount makes sense for this setup. And the good thing about that little gap above is I can pop off the cover still, change out an M2 when a higher capacity becomes more affordable. I could grab my USB dongle if I'm traveling and it just keeps everything inside. So I still have no regrets spending an extra $500 versus the tower variant. It's also important to point out that yes, the computer is on and no, the noise you're hearing is not from the computer at all. It's actually from two Avid rack mounts down here. The good thing is I will be replacing those soon with a different device and apparently it's really quiet and that should eliminate almost all the noise in the studio except my squeaky nose.